What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew Jensen, in case you're new to the channel. Welcome, it's nice to have you. We're gonna do something a little bit different. Yes, I'm at the golf course. Yes, this is still a golf channel. But I've been getting these questions here and there. I think it's a great time to talk about this as I'm actually headed up to Halifax, Canada in a couple days without my golf clubs. I'm going on a speaking media trip for Bell Let's Talk Day. And that's gonna be a really special time. But all I'm gonna be bringing with me is my camera bag. I'm gonna be vlogging everything, but it's not gonna be a golf vlog. There's gonna be no golf clubs. I'm gonna be traveling with my camera bag. Why not use this time to tell you guys what is in my camera bag. First things first, the bag, Low Pro Urbex. Got it a month ago and it's amazing. It's like a hybrid backpack, computer, camera bag. There's a lot of cool features in it. It's not the full on photography bag that opens up and has all the compartments for lenses and, and all that stuff. Because I don't have a DSLR, I've got a small form compact camera. I want to get the best of both worlds for when I'm taking my gear with me. I've been filming out here today, so this is why it's with me at the golf course. I'll show you guys a little bit of the stuff that's in it right now, and then we'll go back to the house and I'll show you the other things that go in this bag and get me ready for traveling and for vlogging. First and foremost, there's a computer sleeve right here. So I've got my computer, my new MacBook Pro. It's helping me edit a lot faster. Love this thing. Halfway up the bag, there's a shelf right here where you can keep some of the looser things. In here, an awesome little hidden pocket with a little bag that I'm gonna show you at home what I put in here and how this helps organize everything. So we'll hide that. We'll look at that when we get home. But in here, what do I have? Well, I've got my drone got my DJI Spark. This is what I use for all my aerial footage. I got this on Black Friday and it's been a lot of fun learning how to use it. My external hard drive, lacy, rugged external hard drive. I edit off of this thing. Most hard drives you can't even tilt them. The rugged, throw it in your bag and know that you're not going to lose your data. This thing is awesome. Got a GoPro just this week. It's an old one. It's a three. Gonna test it out and see how I can implement using these cool shots in the vlog. So it's nice to have this. It's gonna be cool to play around with it in Halifax. Little cell phone adapter for the tripod that this camera that I'm filming on is on. You strap it on top of the Joby and you can put your cell phone on it. So I use my cell phone for slow motion footage. This is great for that. My cell phone, just an iPhone 8, nothing spectacular. One more important thing that I have, HyperDrive USB-C hub. One of the downsides about the newer Macs is they're just USB-C. It does kind of suck because you have to get an adapter to be able to plug anything into your computer now. So this has two USB slots, an SD card slot, a micro SD card slot, USB-C slots, so you can charge your computer while this is plugged in. This thing is quite the game changer. Not these dongles that are just hanging around and making your computer look silly. That's it, they've got a little pocket right here. And so that's a good place for the passport, the Nexus card, all those valuables when you're traveling. Hidden pocket on the inside here, so you can put some other knickknacks in there and then inside Inside this top shelf, there is a slot for a tablet, pens, some of those smaller things. So like I slide that hyperdrive in there. So this thing, this is my gear bag. Now let's head back home where I can show you the rest of the stuff that's gonna go in this backpack for my trip to Halifax. here in the studio, if you will. I'm gonna tell you about the last few things that I put into my camera bag. Showed you the golf course, this little pouch. What it is, is it's a place to store kind of all the little loose things, power, adapters, batteries. These are my DJI Spark ND filters. ND filters help slow down the shutter speed and give you just more cinematic images when you're filming because cameras on the Spark and any drones aren't up to the quality of what you're filming your vlog on a DSLR or mirrorless camera. So that's in there. Then you'll see a nice little place for your cables. Make order out of the loose things that are often chaos 
in your backpack, stuff it in there and there you go. Other things we have, I was filming at the golf course on my Canon G7X Mark II camera, the vlog camera. What's great about it is you have the front facing screen. So you can film yourself looking at the camera and just see if you're in focus, if you're in frame. There's no audio input on this, so I have a little dead cat that I made here to try to muffle a little bit of the wind sound. There's rumors that the G7X Mark III will come out with an audio jack, so my fingers are crossed on that because I love this camera. I love the size of it. The image quality is great. Canon's color science is the best and I really trust Canon and I like filming on this thing. I think I'm gonna stick with Canon. Joby, Gorillapod, can't leave home without this. This thing is so versatile. Like at the golf course, I strap it to the golf cart. You can basically turn anything into a stable base. The Gobi, Gorilla, Gorilla, the Gobi, the Joby Gorillapod, the mirrorless cell phone one. There are bigger ones for DSLRs. This thing is ingenious. Essentials, journal, pens. I always have a journal with me in case I have video ideas. I'm taking notes with my practice or just straight up speaking ideas. Anything that comes to my brain, I'm still old fashioned where I like to write it down. So I always have a Moleskin journal with me when I travel. Last thing to show you is basically just the case that the DJI Spark comes in. I don't like carrying it around with the propellers and the legs out. It doesn't fold in like a Mavic does. You have extra propellers in the case, but it's just something to keep the DJI, the Spark, a little bit more safe when you're traveling. It fits in here perfectly. Having that little pouch to organize the small stuff really frees up space in this top half of the bag to keep things in there very orderly. I didn't mention at the golf course that shelf, it's Velcro on one half, so it just flips down. So if you wanna use the full depth of this backpack, you can do that. That's all I'm gonna be bringing with me to Halifax when I go and speak and vlog next week. I really hope you enjoyed this little look at what's in my bag, in my camera bag. This isn't a sponsored video. None of these brands are paying me to, to use their stuff. This is just all the stuff I've accumulated and I, I trust with the channel. There are links to all of these below. They're Amazon affiliate links. So if there's anything that I'm talking about that you wanna get, click one of those links because the affiliate program is something that's great for smaller creators like myself. We do get a small percentage of those purchases and that money just goes back into the channel, allowing us to you know, get better gear, make better videos, increase the quality of all the content that any creator is creating. So the affiliate links, they're huge. Amazon's really, really great for that. And that's it guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share it with your gearhead friends. There might be some stuff in here that they're interested in knowing about. Make sure you subscribe. I'll be seeing you in Halifax. Peace.